Okay, I am on my daughter's um, Chromebook. So it should be the same Chromebook that many of you have. And I'm going to show you how to add um, emojis to Seesaw for the activity that your teacher gave you. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come, once you're logged in, come down here to this bottom part where you see, like, for me, it shows, like, my battery and that kind of thing. And I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on this little gear right here that shows settings. So I'm going to click on that button. Um, when my settings opens, I'm going to scroll all the way down and you should see a button that says advanced. So I'm going to click on advanced. Then I'm going to keep scrolling down until I see accessibility. And I'm going to click on that very bottom button that says manage accessibility features. And now I'm going to come down again. <laughs> And I want to come down to where it says keyboard and text input. So as of right now, if you see where it says enable on screen keyboard right here, right now, most of yours is probably turned off. I want it on. So I'm going to click that button to turn it on because this is how I'm going to get the emojis on. All right. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to exit out of this screen. And now I'm going to go into my seesaw. So this is the assignment that you will see from Ms. Hassel. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add um, a text box. So if I click on this blue T, it's going to let me add um, a box like this. So for favorite foods, I'm going to um, maybe just resize this. So I'm going to drag these dots like this. And now when I'm ready to type, I'm going to click on the inside. And boys and girls, most likely your keyboard will pop up like this. Um, there's a little button right here at the bottom that shows an, an emoji. And if you click on that, that will take you to emojis. So I can click down here at the bottom and find different emojis. I wasn't sure. Oh, look, I can write. Oh, interesting. Um, I gotta get back to where I was going now. <laughs> oh, hold on. So when you click, I have played, oh, there's my emojis. Okay. So I have clicked and I have found some different emojis. If I'm looking for my favorite foods, um, I could scroll through. I'm imagining there's a way that you could probably, to me, it looks like you should be able to move this. I'm not sure how to do that at this point though, but I can scroll through. Oh, there's my doggy. And click on different things. Oh, favorite foods. If you really like chicken, maybe you'll find a chicken on here. Um, these are different buildings. These are different places. To me, it looks like you should be able to um, somehow scroll through this. I'm not 100% sure, though, how that happens. So I will let you guys play around with that and figure out that part. Because I think, I feel like you should be able to get like more on this screen. But this is how you get to the emoji board. If for some reason when you click on, if for some reason when you click on your text box, it doesn't show up, just keep in mind that you have this little keyboard icon now down, down here. And if you click on that on-screen keyboard, it'll either go away or come back, whatever it is that you were looking for it to do. I have turned on whatever the writing thing is. So maybe I just want to write. Maybe I want to say, and my family is my mom. Oh, look, my mom. Okay. Now, of course, Miss Hassel wants you guys to be doing um, emojis with this one today. So I would not put mom for this one. But remember just to click on that emoji board down there. And then that's where you're going to find your stuff. And then when you're done, You'll click your check button. And it will pop up when your teacher approves it for you. Okay, so good luck. Have fun using the emojis. Hope it works for you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope. <laughs>